Anyway, as you can see, the scene is set now. We're on to Hillworth's Music. And as you know, Hillworth's Music is a generic name for the sport. In actual fact, there are two sections within Hillworth's Music. And that is freestyle and Hillworth's Music. Freestyle is the... It's a bit like ice dancing, really. There, there are lots of different moves you can use with your dog. In Hillworth's Music, it's a bit like ballroom dancing. You have to do so many of the moves. In fact, two thirds of them have got to be related to heel work. It's where the dog is moving in close proximity. So I think we're ready, folks. If our judges are ready. Hello, a stranger in the arena. What could that be, I wonder? All the handlers are, are allowed props, as you can see. It looks like we have, a, oh, we've got an Oscar and a a clapperboard there and a roll of film. So anyway, we have three judges in the sport. As you can see, they have to be seated far away, unlike uh, Dancing on Ice and um, uh, the other programs of their ilk. They have to be seated separately. What we don't want is them to have any conversations during the judging process. They have to give their own opinion and they're not given chance to discuss it. In the, in the event, of a, a tie on marks or any discrepancies, then we have a head judge who will deal with that problem um, during the competition. So one of the three judges is a head judge. So would you welcome in the judges, please? And the first judge to come in is Penny Draper. Let's give a big round of applause. Penny Draper in the, in the front there, looking very smart. Virginia Richardson in the middle. And our head judge at the rear there, Helen Taylor. So they're going to take their positions now. Good morning, judges. Now there are three sections to be marked. We'll go through those. I'll go through those while the uh, the judges are getting their marks together after every routine. Each piece of music has to be four minutes maximum in the advanced classes. We have held had heats throughout the year. We have had a semi-final, which was held just a few weeks ago, with the top ten dogs coming through from the semi-final, which is what you're going to see today. They are allowed props, and they are allowed to use props while they're working the dog, as long as it doesn't um, take over from what it's all about. This is a dog you're working in unison with the owner. And I think we're ready for our first dog. And would you like a welcome in the arena if she's there? Just waiting for our first handler to come up. It's a very exciting sport and relatively new one. It started in 1990. I don't think she's ready. She's um, got a lovely little cavalier, as you can see from the screen. Give a big round of applause. It's Sandra Hallam with Henry. The full kennel club name is Tashmit Free Serve at Old Burn. It's a cavalier King Charles Spaniel, as you can see. This dog's 10 years old, folks, and obviously still fighting fit. And she's going to perform to an artistic medley by Ludwig Bors. And just remember this when you're watching this routine, folks. This dog is stone deaf. It's working from um, commands from the handler that it can see only. This is a remarkable achievement. So anyway, over to you, Sandra and Henry.
Give him a big round of applause. What a super round to start with. And she needs an extra set of applause, folks, because the dog is deaf. What a remarkable achievement. Well done, Sandra and Henry. Now, I know a lot of you will have been in here before, but we'll just tell you now that the judges are now putting their results together in one of three sections, and then they'll be collected up, then we'll put them in the computer, and then we'll have a chance to see what the results are after each and every dog. So we've just got to wait for the judges now, and then we'll collect the results up from them. So a little bit of a delay there. Fairly recent sport here, work to music, and... Um, we, we, we always don't want people to think it's anything to do with a circus act or just, just a bit of comedy. In actual fact, every one of the routines you've taken takes a lot of training. And it's very simple with heel wet to music, whether it be freestyle or heel wet to music. It's a series of, of um, moves choreographed to music. Now, each move is more or less a trick that's been taught. It might be getting the dog to wait, to roll over, to come into heel. Everything takes a lot of training. Principally method, principal method of training that are used is clicker training. Clicker training means that, for those who are not familiar with it, there is a sound made to say the dog's got it right. You train them to know the sound means the dog's got it right by using copious amounts of titbits and food. And it's all based on food. And that's the way you get dogs to do something like this. They would not do it if they didn't want to do it. You certainly couldn't force a dog to do what you're going to see in this arena today. So it's all about training, and that is the basis of everything in dogs. Now, as you can see, we've got the results going up now for Sandra Hallam. So she's got some good results there. Penny Draper on content 8, Helen 6.7, and V 7.4, 22.1. Accuracy 8.2, 6.5 and 7.2. Bit of a variance in, in the where the judges have, have, have pitched their mark in there. Interpretation 887975. The red one at the bottom there you can see up on the screen is for any deductions. There are no deductions. Give a round of applause. 22.73. <laughs> so that in actual fact is now our benchmark, which the others are going to have to uh, better to take the lead. So she's gone into the lead. Little clip over there on the screen. So next handler to go now. Run number two out of our ten starters. Would you like to welcome in Christine Hodgson? Her dog's called Ditania Divine Charm. That's the Kennel Club Registered name. It's a Border Collie, seven years old. And uh, she's going to be performing to I'll Do Anything by the cast of Oliver. And it's her first time competing at Crofts. So, Christine when you're ready. Anything Catch a kangaroo Anything Go to 
Well done, Christine, what a great routine. There you go, Christine, and I'll do anything. I'll, I'll tell you, folks, that's what I mean about training all the tricks and getting all the tricks done separately. Then the art of a good routine is the choreography. It's not about coming out here, having music playing and doing a big, constant stream of tricks. It's about choreography and if you can get the choreography to fit, fit the music in fact one of the hardest jobs a handler has got is trying to pick the right music that will suit their dog suit their pace and also be able to get the choreography right so that was a good example of it there just waiting for the judges i'll just mention i'm going to go through some of the details of sport in between each of the dogs but the, the history of it is for those who don't know but i think most people do it started in 1990 prior to that People are trained with music playing for years. But in 1990, a young lady named Mary Ray was doing an evening performance, and the guy who organised it, called John Gil Gilbert, liked two of her dogs. He thought they were quite stunning. He says, I want to play some music while you're working. And that's what she did. She did a round of heel work with music playing. And everyone went away and said, Mary Ray's done heel work to music. And that's where the name came from. After that, she did it for a couple of years, and then she thought one day, and she was asked to do, to do it at Crufts as well, and she thought, I'd better put some choreography to this, and there you go, that's how it all started. And from there, it spread throughout the world, from Australia, Japan, everywhere, America, all throughout Europe now. You've got heel work to music competitions. You've even got um, a competition at the World, world Show, the FCI World Show, which moves around Europe. So, very exciting sport, and the best of it is it's all based on, on training, and it's not just a circus act. You've got to work really hard. But don't forget, folks, you could be here doing it next year. Now, Christina, a great routine. Let's see what the judges do. For content, 7.8, 8.2, and 8.1, giving a total of 24.1, so they like the content. Accuracy, 8, 2, 7, 3, and 7, 7, 7, 23.2. So this looks, it looks like it could take the lead. Interpretation of the music, 757 and 77, 22.2 in total. Any deductions? Oh, there's 0.5 there. It could be for barking and a 0.4. Could be touching the dog. Whatever the judges feel needs a deduction. 22.87 in total. Into second place she goes. That's it, nice round of applause for it. Now be ready for our next handler to start. And as, you can, as you'll see the dress on all the handlers, just bear in mind, it has to complement the routine. They can't come in dressed outrageously unless it complements the routine. A lot of handlers dress a little subtly just to complement the routine. That's part of what the judges will be judging. Anyway, in next, Christine Oxenby with her... Uh, Border Collie called Legacy is Ex Exegol. It's an eight-year-old dog, a Border Collie dog, and she's going to be competing to, the name of the music is Runaway by 
Runaway Baby by Bruno Mars. And it's also their first time competing at Crofts. So uh, let the music start when she's ready. Christina. Well, I don't think I should say this, but somebody just told me she's a vicar's wife. So if you next, live next door to a vicarage and you hear pop music playing, you know what's going in inside there. Uh, there you go. That's Christina. Great fun routine. We'll wait and see what the marks are for her. There are three sections to be marked. Content, inter inter accuracy and execution of movement and interpretation. It, I'll just read a little bit from the um, 
the actual written rules because we look at these routines and think oh we'd like that one to move it's great fun and you know we'd like the music but the judges as always with these things we see it on tv they have their own agenda or their own agenda that's mainly written down so in actual fact that's what they're marking to and there are times over the years when we've disagreed with the judges but of course they're doing it to the rules and there are fairly strict rules on on heel wet to music and they have to be adhered to and that's what the judges are adhering to and they have chance to put some of their own thoughts and opinion to it as well like the execution of the routine and the um, the, the way it's been choreographed but there are certain things that they cannot they have to actually do them to the exact rules so there are three sections there marking as i said content which is how many of the different moves they have in their routine and I'll come to the others shortly, accuracy and execution of movement and interpretation. But the marks are out now and it looks like good results there. 24.8 for content. We've got a 7, 5, 8, 9 and 8, 4. So two eights there. Perhaps we'll see some tens somewhere coming on later. Accuracy, 22.6. So this is looking good. Oh, we've got a low interpretation there from Helen Taylor. Nothing to deduct. 23.17 into the first place she goes. Well done, Christina. That was a great fun routine and into first place she goes. Next hand of waiting on the line now. Would you like to welcome in Lucy Creek? Uh, the dog's name is Dylan making waves. And it's a beagle, folks. Nine years old. And they're going to be performing to uh, Lipitango Stroke Strictly Come Dancing by TV Sounds Unlimited. This is their third time competing at Crufts and the first beagle to qualify in the freestyle competition. Not the easiest of dogs to train in relation to the, if you do a strict comparison with Border Collies, of course, a little bit more challenging.
a great routine. Very eloquent and great choreography. Well done. Lovely piece of music. And very well performed. Very Strictly Come Dancing. So the judges will at the moment be looking at in their first section to make sure that they don't they mark mark it down if it's got excessive repetition of movement and content being appropriate to the routine. Well I don't know about the first point, but certainly the content was appropriate to the routine. It was strictly come dancing. So they've got a mark up to ten on that. And movement appropriate to the structure and confirmation of the dog. I think that was fine for the dog as well. They have to take that into account. The movement of the dog should have a greater impact than those of the handler. It's about the dog, it's not just about the handler. So always got to have a, a, the highest responsibility must fall to the dog and the training it's had. And the degree of, degree of difficulty of movement should be taken into account. Now that section is the content which the judges are gonna mark up to 10 on that. We haven't seen a nine yet, but certainly we've had some eights and they're down as low as six as well. So that's the first section they'll be looking at. Right, Lucy Creek, we've got the results coming up now. And they're all up on the screen, you can see exactly the same as I. A seven, five and eight, five and eight, three, that's a good one, total 24.3. Accuracy, look fairly accurate. A few little blemishes there, 22.9. And interpretation of the music, I thought the interpretation was excellent as well, so the judges and it's an eight there, 23.73. Into first place she goes. So we seem to be getting a little bit better all the way along as we go into the competition. Now our next handler who's gonna be starting any moment is Ander Rizzio. Ander's been in the sport for many, many years, very well known name, still more showstopper is gonna be the name of the dog. It's a Border Collie, a nine year old dog. She's going to be performing to Arthur and the Lady of the Lake and always look on the bright side. So a little bit of a compilation there by the cast of Sp it should be good fun. It's the cast of Spamalot and Rick Waitman. And these pair have regularly qualified to compete at Cuffs in both the heel work to music and freestyle. And Anne always does something nice and dramatic with the props and the dress. As you can see, that's exactly what she's done now. So I don't know if there's anybody, in, a very small person in that box over there. We seem to have an arm and a hand standing out. So would you like to welcome in now, please, Anderizio and still more showstopper. A very smart a blue male collie. Of course, as we know, collies used to be black and white only, but now we've got all sorts of collars, including the popular ones, blue males and the brown and whites. So Anne, the orchestra awaits you. This is a total bloody disaster. All my knights have fled and we're lost in a dark and very expensive forest. Well, it could be worse. Well, how could it possibly be worse? Oh, cheer up, sire. You know what they say. What do they say, Patsy? Whoso pulleth out this sword from this stone and anvil is the true-born king of all Britain. Some things in life are bad. They can really make you mad. Other things just make you swear and curse. When you're chewing on life's grizzle, don't grumble, give a whistle. And this'll help things turn out for the best. And always look on the bright side of life. Always look on the right side of life. You give it a try. <laughs> if life seems jolly rotten, there's something you've forgotten. And that's to laugh and smile and dance and sing. When you're feeling in the dumps, don't be silly chumps. Just purse your lips and whistle, that's the thing. And always look on the bright side of life. Life is quite absurd, and death's the final word. You must always face the curtain with a bow. 
forget about your sin. Give the audience a grin. Enjoy it. It's your last chance anyhow. Always look on the bright side of death. Just before you draw your terminal breath. Round of applause, and Rizzio, with still more showstopper, the Kettle Club registered name, and Arthur and the Lady of the Lake, and always look on the bright side. Well done, Anna, great routine, well choreographed, so we'll wait and see what the judges think of that. Well, that also, I did say we'd go through all the sections while the judges are thinking about that. Accuracy and execution of movement is very important as well. So again, 10 marks on this, take a mark up to 10, taking into account all the following points. Hello, we've got a fan club in. Movements including the heel work are accurately and, actually, accurately and smoothly executed. The dog should work in a natural and willing manner. Dog should respond to promptly and appropriately to cues given, including the use of props. Bearing and deportment of the handler is appropriate and should be appropriate to the routine and dog. And the handler should work, the dog and handler should work as a team. That's the second section where they've got up to 10 marks to, to give on there. So, oh, it looks like the railway station's arrived. We've got platform two there. It's a bit like Harry Potter. Perhaps it's platform two and a half and uh, the handler's going to disappear when they go through it. I don't know. But... Uh, Anyway, the judges just finished there thinking about what they're going to do on their marks. We've got three sections of ten to mark. And we've had nothing in the nines yet, I don't think. So we're just waiting to see if any money managed to break that. So content, we've got an eight, a 7.5 and a 7.6. Total 23.1. Accuracy, eight. Almost six, eight there. One of the judges marked that a bit low. Seven, three. 22.1 for the middle section accuracy. Interpretation 8, 7.6 and 7.6. Any deductions? No. Total 22.8. And won't be taking the first place with that, I don't think. <laughs> right, next into the arena now, we've got young Heather Smith. She did a super routine last year, so we're really waiting with bated breath to see what she does this year. 
Her dog's pet name is Maddie. As soon as she's ready to enter the arena, hope she, she'll join us. The kennel club name is Moonlight Magic Dancer. It's a bearded collie. And uh, she's not quite sure, it must be a rescue job. She's not, dog, she's not quite sure of the age. Would you like to welcome in please, Heather Smith and Maddie. She's performing to a silent movie medley from uh, the artist of the disc is the Nickelodeon. This pair of a sparkling history at Crofts winning the HGM class last year with a stunning routine, I have to say, and represented Scotland in numerous years in the international. A great handler, very experienced. I'm sure we're going to see a great routine. Give a big round of applause. 
Well done, Heather. A great routine and a lovely tale of the silent movie up to your usual high standard. And a smashing dog as well. She loves her, uh, her bearded collies and they all perform so well. So well done, Heather Smith there with Maddie. Now, folks, if you'd like to know any more about Heel Work to Music, if you go up to Hall 3, we have the activity centre there, and we have representatives of Heel Work to Music, which is the generic name, as I said, for the sport, who can talk to you about where you can get started, is your dog suitable, ask them their opinions of what you can do with your dog, and just any questions you've got on Heel Work to Music, up into Hall 3, the dog activities area, and talk to the heel work to music people. And that goes with any sport you're interested in, whether it be agility, obedience, rally obedience, any of the kennel club activity sports, up to all three and into the activity center. And there are experts there ready to talk to you about it. Also, don't forget tonight we're on more four and the following three nights, we're on channel four each evening with a full Crofts program. Very, a, a selection of everything that's got on at Crofts on the program. My gosh, we've got some nines, folks. Look at this, 9-2, 9-2 and 8-5. 26.9 the total there. That's for content. And 9-2, 8-3 and 8-7, 26.2. That's a great score as well. And another nine here. A 9, 8, 8 and 8, 5, 26.3. And she must be in the lead on 26.47. Well done, Heather. I think you're our new leader, but we've got a few people here who are going to try and take that lead off her. So I think our next competitor should be almost ready to come in. This will be Pauline Goddard. She's got a dog called Mist. Mist of Snowden is the Kennel Club registered name, and it's a working sheep dog. Nine years old. So would you get welcome in Pauline Goddard with Mist. And she's going to be performing to the old favourite, Singing in the Rain, this time by Tommy Steele. She's a seasoned cross qualifier. Pauline and Mist have worked in both HGM and freestyle finals in the past here in the main ring at Crofts. So enjoy it, folks. Pauline Goddard and Mist with Singing in the Rain, with the artist being Tommy Steele. I think some of us older people remember Tommy Steele quite well. Perhaps the younger ones won't. She'll just get herself in position and ready to start. Glorious feeling I'm happy again I'm laughing at clouds So dark up above The sun's in my heart And I'm ready for love Let the storm the clouds chase Everyone from the place Come on with the rain have a smile on my face I walk down the lane With a happy refrain I'm singing, singing in the rain Dancing in the rain La, 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 la. I'm happy again And singing in the
Give it up for Pauline and Miss. What a great interpretation of singing in the rain. Well done, Pauline. A lovely routine. There have been a few interpretations of that over the years, and that uh, looks like one of the best ones to me. It's a very popular choice of music in the sport. So again, we're waiting for our judges. I'll let you into a little secret now. When we had our semi-final, the top ten came forward. Um, this running order we're looking at this morning is in the re this morning is in the reverse of the placings. So the strongest contenders are coming in the latter part of the competition. And it uh, looks like the naughty schoolgirl might be in next. Anyway. We'll go back to the musical interpretation this time, which is the final section that the judges look at. Interpretation of the rhythm, rhythm, phrasing and timing should be apparent and the choice, choice of music should suit the team. It's of absolute critical importance, the choice of music. In fact, that's the biggest challenge. That's harder than the training of the dog. Trying to get something you can choreograph, put the choreography to is so important. Now we've got... Uh, Pauline and Miss score 8, 8, 7, 8, 2, 24.9. Accuracy 8, 5, 9, 2, and 8, 8. So we've got a 1, 9 in there, 26.5. And then interpretation, we've got a low one there, a 7, 8, 2, 7, and 8, 3, 24.97. <laughs> and into second place. So, yes, a good result, Pauline. I'm sure you'll be pleased with that. And, and ready to go now, the next competitor, would you like to welcome in Nikki Inson? <laughs> With Rave Star Scarlet Dancer, it's a working sheepdog. Just two and a half years old, this little bitch. She's uh, performing to Naughty. She looks like she's a naughty schoolgirl herself. Naughty by the cast of Matilda. It's her second time at Cross for Nikki and first time in the freestyle ring for both dog and handler, normally in the heel wet music. So, Nikki, you're under starter's orders. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. So they say the subsequent fall was inevitable. They never stood a chance, they were written that way. Innocent victims of their story Like Romeo and Juliet T'was written in the stars before they even met That love and fate and a touch of stupidity Would rob them of the hope of living happily The endings are often a little bit gory I wonder why they didn't just change their story we're told we have to do what we're told, but surely Sometimes you have to be a little bit naughty Just because you find that life's not fair It doesn't mean that you just have to grin and bear it If you always take it on the chin and wear it Nothing will change Even if you're little, you can do a lot you Little stop you If you sit around and let them get on top you Might as well be saying You think that it's okay And that's not right Cinderella in the cellar Didn't have to do much as far as I could tell Her godmother was two-thirds fairy Suddenly her lot was a lot less bit of mischief Just because you find that life's not fair It doesn't mean that you just have to grin and bear it If you always take it on the chin and wear it Nothing will change Even if you're little you can do a lot You must let a little thing like little stop you 
of a boat, there's a tiny revolt. The seed of a war in the creek of a floorboard. A storm can begin with a flap of a wing. The tiniest mite packs the mightiest sting. Every day starts with a tick of a clock. All escapes start with a click of a log. If you're stuck in your story and want to get out, you don't have to cry, you don't have to shout. Cause if you're little, you can do a lot. You must let a little thing like little stop you. If you sit around and let them get on top, you won't change a thing. Just because you find that life's not fair, it doesn't mean that you just have to grin and bear it. If you always take it on the chin and wear it, you might as well be saying you think that it's okay and that's not right. And if it's not right, you have to put it. Entertaining and well put together. Well, it'd be interesting, folks, to see what the judges make of that. Really great routine that was. Lots in there, you just had to watch very carefully for all the different moves they did. So, as I said earlier, don't forget, we're, we're here on More 4 tonight and Channel 4 the other three nights, the following three nights. In this arena tomorrow, around the same time, mid morning, we have the Hill to Music finals. And then on Saturday, we have the uh, International Freestyle Finals. That's a great, um, great event as well with handlers from throughout Europe who will be competing on Saturday. And also, don't forget, on Best in Show night, on Sunday night, we have a heel wet to music just before Best in Show with Mary Ray with a surprise routine as well. And I think she's got a co-conspirator again this year. So just watch out for that. I think that might be on television as well. Anyway, the next routine coming up now. And just two more to go. And before that, we've got Nikki Henson's results. Now, we all like that routine, so you see what the judges think. That's a nine there, always looking good. Nine, two, nine, and nine, 27.2. Accuracy, eight, seven, seven, eight, and eight, five, given 25. It's still looking good. Eight, two. Interpretation 8.8 eight, eight, and an 8.7, 25.7. Oh, we got deduction there. Oh, gosh. The judges have good reason for giving that. 2.5 off, 25.13, and I'm told into second place. It's still a great routine. Well done, Dickie. I'm sure she'll be pleased if she holds on to that. But we've got two more handlers who are going to try and top, snatch those top places. So would you like to welcome into the arena now, Carol Dodson with Clifton. Kinaway Dr. Watson is the full name of the dog. It's a Border Collie, a 10-year-old dog. And the music they're using is Flying from Peter Pan by the James Newton Band. So Season Cross attendees been very successful by winning Hillwet's Music Finals on two occasions. But this is freestyle, of course, today. So over to Carol and Clifton.
give a big round of applause. Carol Dodson and Drifton, a very impressive and uh, stern piece of music there, well choreographed, so we'll have to wait and see what the judges say when they give their opinion. Give a round of applause as she leaves the arena. Give it up for Carol Dodson and Clifton. Well done, Carol. As with all Hilworth's music and freestyle, we make our minds up what we think is the most impressive, what we think should win. I'm sure it's the same. We strictly come dancing and dancing on ice, but it is the judges who, looking at the criteria, will make their decision. We, haven't, we don't allow them to speak, so we don't have a Mr. Nasty. Hello, the decorators have arrived. With his flat cap. If you want to know any more information later about Hillwet Musa or any of the activities that the Kennel Club is involved in, which could be obedience, agility, rally obedience, good citizen, working trials, bloodhounds, anything to do with working dogs, up into Hall 3 in the activities section, and there'll be some experts there on hand to tell you all about it. And if you want to get started, how you can get started. Right, Carol Dodson, Kinaway, Dr. Watson, and it's a 9282 and 87. That's a good result, total 26.1. Another nine there, a 7985 for accuracy, 25.6. And another nine there for the, uh, the first judge, and an 8086. So it's 25.93. Into second place, I'm told. But there's still one more to go, and this is the last one that could snatch the first place out of the jewels of the one who's got it now. So, I think we're ready, and would you like to welcome into the arena with his dog, Wizards, Richard Curtis. <laughs> Soika Del Delic Damsa is the, first name, the full name of the dog. He's a seven-year-old crossbreed bitch, and well, I think we're all going to be tapping our toes to this. It's When I'm Cleaning Windows by Various Artists. As you know, he's won Crofts on various occasions and appeared with Mary Ray before on Best, the Best in Show night. So we may be seeing him again Sunday. But here we are. It's Richard Curtis with Wizzy. <laughs> This bog for a nosy parker, it's an interesting job. Now it's a job that just suits me. A window cleaner, you would be if you can see what I can see when I'm cleaning windows. Honeymoon in couples, too. You should see them, Bill and Coo. You'd be surprised at things they do when I'm cleaning windows. In my profession, I'll work hard, but I'll never stop. I'll climb this blinking ladder till I get right to the top. The blushing bride, she looks divine. The bridegroom, he is doing fine. I'd rather have his job than mine when I'm cleaning windows. The chambermaid, sweet names I call. It's a wonder I don't fall. My mind's not on my work at all. When I'm cleaning windows, I know a fella such a swell. He has a thirst that's plain to tell. I've seen him drink his bath as well. When I'm cleaning windows.
team. Great piece of music and a great performance from Richard Curtis. Well, folks, we've just got to wait for the judges to make up their minds. Can I just point one thing out to you again? Sometimes we look at a piece of music, a routine, and we love the music. The routine seems great. The judges are marked to a different criteria. So we have to wait for their results. And I don't know if this is going to come off, but we might not find out the results of the presentation. We're going to have the presentation next, so please do keep your seats. It'll be presentation time within just a couple of moments now, a couple of minutes. But it certainly was a great routine, and I have to say, personally, I like routines where you know the music, and that really was total tapping stuff. Right, we'll be back with you in just a moment or two. Well, I think they're in running order. We still don't know the actual result yet because they ha we haven't announced who's actually won the competition and we haven't announced who's actually, how Richard did in the last, the, on the last routine there. Give them all a big round of applause. They've done a marvellous job. It's not just about show business. It's about real training with real well-trained dogs. So we're really pleased. We're going to do the results in reverse order. And in 10th place, Christine Hodgson with Titania Divine Charm. In 9th place, it was a little dog that was stone deaf. What a remarkable achievement for Sandra Allen. Well done. In eighth place, with a real showstopper of a routine, lots of great props for Andrew Rizzio, still more showstopper. Well done, Anne. In seventh place, and I still haven't found out she really is a vicar's wife, Christina Rossenby. In sixth place, with a great little routine there, I think it was the naughty one, Lucy Creek. Oh, no, it's not. That was a very eloquent routine with the Beagle. We love that routine. In fifth place, Pauline Bonnet Gullard with Mr. Stone. Well done, Pauline. In fourth place, it was young Nicky Hinton with the naughty routine. Well done, Nicky. In third place, she went second to last with a great routine. Carol Dodson, get away, Dr. Watson. <laughs> the runner up in second place with a great routine, representing Scotland in this as well in a small degree, Heather Smith, 26.47.
and the winner and he's taking bookings for window cleaning is Richard Curtis. Great result, Richard, great routine, but to all of you, congratulations for great performances. We'll have the lap of honour now, folks. Would you like to come round the arena and uh, give them a big round of applause? Well, folks, we're just going to be building the course now for the Rescue Dog Agility, so do, do stay with us. We'll be back with you in a couple of minutes' time with some very exciting Rescue Dog Agility.